Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jazz, a.k.a. JDML, and I'm coming at you with another episode. This week, we have an unboxing video. And thank you for stopping by my channel. Today, we'll be looking at part one of an unboxing video of the Atom A77X Studio Monitors. So first things first, uh, we had to disconnect and remove the old speakers. Previously, I had the Yamaha HS8s in my studio and I liked them. I liked them. You, they're really standard. You'll see them in any, just about any studio you go into. Um, very, very popular. Got lots of good mixes off of them. But it was just time to upgrade. So here you see me pulling out my trusty multi-tool. And I have to say I was quite impressed that they came with two layers of boxes. Um, over the years I've had different kinds of studio speakers. As my room grew and my ear grew, I changed my approach and I changed my speaker. I started started out with the uh, M Audio BX5s over 10, I mean, this was like 15 years ago. These things were so old, but I had them forever until I finally got my little Yamaha 5s, um, which were originally on my desk. I actually relocated those in the studio as well. And then eventually I upgraded to the 8s. Um, which in my old studio, to be honest, they were just too big for the room. Um, I just turned them down, but I was glad to have some eights and some fives uh, in my room. Um, fast forward to me about a year ago, moving into this studio and I started building this studio. And I did notice I had to kind of crank them up a little bit to get all the sound that I needed out of them. So it was time to upgrade. Um, I did like how they had, uh, covered and wrapped the speaker so that um, they won't get scratched up in transport. Here I used the same speaker stands um, that my HS8s were on uh, for my Adams A77s and they work just well. They were a little wobbly at first but they're, they're fine so if you're looking at getting these speakers and you're wondering will I have to upgrade my speaker stands at first not so much. I do want to get a production desk where they'll have more support and they can sit on the desk um, but for now um, these speaker stands work just fine um, so I'm just reconnecting everything and putting everything back together which was fairly easy. Um, I had to listen to a couple of things, um, do some gain staging, turn them up, turn them down, just to see um, what was a good ideal level for a playback. And it did, it, it, took, it took me a second. It took me a couple days to get used to them. They're very different um, than the Yamahas. Um, if you're looking for something that sounds just like the Yamahas, they do not sound just like the Yamahas. They will, everything that the Yamaha's covered up, the Adams revealed. Okay, let's just say, just snatch just all the cover off of it and be like, no, you need to fix this and fix this, which is good because um, with the Adams, I feel like I'm able to get to the mix that I desire quicker than I was on the uh, Yamaha's where I could get there, but I tweak and tweak and tweak and tweak on the Adams. It's like, once you're there, you're there. And, um, I really appreciate that about these speakers. They have helped my mix so much. I've had to go back and remix a lot of stuff. So get ready for that. Um, but they have helped me so much. They've helped me step my game up and, um, on all levels, whether it just be, um, personal client projects or whether I'm mixing a live stream, um, for a house of worship or my own projects, whether I'm beat making, it handles, oh, and the low end is ridiculous on these speakers. Can I just say? like they really hold it seems like I have a sub in here but I don't and I'm one of those producers that I'm sorry you'll never find a sub in my in my studio I just don't like mixing with subs in the studio not to mix maybe for playback maybe if I'm doing some DJ stuff but um, just for mixing I personally do not want to uh, deal with mixing with a sub just not for me it's not for me but I don't need it with these because the low end is so clear and strong and powerful for woofers you definitely feel it um, and you can control each range uh, individually 
on the back of the speakers. So yeah, yeah, I'm really enjoying the speakers so far. In my next episode, we're gonna sit down and do a full review of the Adams A77s and the Yamaha HS8s to see uh, what differences these speakers have um, and comparably um, how they compete with each other. Now, of course, it's a big price difference and they're two totally different speakers, but um, I know that there's a lot of people out there that would like to know what's the main differences. Um, so so stay tuned for next week's episodes. I may even have a guest on with me. You never know. So stay tuned. I uh, look forward to seeing you. Don't forget to hit that bell so that you know when the next episode is coming on so you get your notification. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Once again, this has been All Things Audio with JDML. Until next time, peace.